Hey, players. So on Tuesday, a 58-year-old Arizona man was indicted on federal charges after his plot to commit a mass tragedy was uncovered by a confidential informant. Apparently, he wanted to do this at a rap concert because there would be a high concentration of black people. Let's talk about it. So according to reports on Tuesday, the Department of Justice indicted 58-year-old Mark Adams Perito of Prescott, Arizona on firearms trafficking, transfer of a firearm for use in a hate crime, and possession of an unregistered firearm. So according to the indictment, this investigation dates back to October of 2023, when a confidential informant approached the FBI with information regarding Mark Perito plotting a mass tragedy at a rap concert. Apparently, the two had met at uh, weapon shows over the months, and they had spoken. And in October, apparently Mark got comfortable enough with this informant to try to recruit them to participate in this mass tragedy. Now, thankfully, this person reported it to the FBI and they began their investigation. So um, they began uh, uh, recording conversations between this informant and Perito between January and May. Um, Perito allegedly discussed his plan to commit a mass tragedy against black people and other minorities to incite a race war prior to the 2024 presidential election. According to the indictment, Mark intended to target a Bad Bunny rap concert in Atlanta that was said to be held on May 14th and May 15th at the State Farm Arena. According to prosecutors, Mark Perito said he chose a rap concert because there would be a high concentration of black people. The FBI conducted surveillance and a sting operation at local weapon shows where Perito was a vendor to obtain information for the indictment. Uh, the confidential informant and the undercover FBI agent spoke with Perito at a crossroads of the West Weapon Show at the Arizona State Fairgrounds when Perito ended up sharing his plan with the two of them. He stated he chose Atlanta because Georgia is such an effed up state now. He says when he was a kid, it was one of the most conservative states in the country. In this plot, Perito also planned to leave Confederate flags after the tragedy to send a message that we're going to fight back now and every whitey will be an enemy to the whole country. So on May 14th, Perito was arrested in New Mexico and told authorities that he was traveling to Florida to see his mother. He admitted that he knew both the undercover agent and the confidential informant and had discussed attacking a concert to start a revolution but denied that it was actually going to happen. He was found with several firearms in his vehicle and uh, more at his residence. He also admitted to selling a firearm to the undercover agent. If Perito is convicted on these charges, he faces up to 40 years in the clink and also a $250,000 fine. I'm so glad that this informant came forward and said something because this would have been an absolute tragedy. And people say that racism don't exist in the world. I report on instances of racism every single day. All right, players, put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double D Mobile for the Black Accurate News.